Hi everyone, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. Today we're going to decorate one of these canvases. Now I bought a pack of four from B&M. They were three ninety nine, so a pound each. You can, I think, sometimes get these from Poundland and Home Bargains and places like that. So do keep your eye out for those. But as I say, they're twenty twenty centimeter squares and they are a pound. So what I'm going to do is to just paint one of them with some chalk paint, and I'm using. This one from the Fairy Chic Emporium and all I'm going to do is use this like, it's like a cream kind of colour and I'm just going to paint over the front of the canvas and um, I'll probably just give it one coat to start with and see how it looks when it's dried. Right, so I've done one coat on this side, I'm just painting another coat over the top it covered really well. I do really like the Fairy Chic Emporium's paint, um, but I'm going to give it just a, one more coat just to make sure it's fully covered. And I have painted around the sides as well. I'm not worrying about the back, but I have painted the sides because sometimes you can see that, can't you, when pictures are hanging up. So I'm going to go over this, let it dry, and then we'll put on the rice paper on the top. Now, the rice paper that I'm using is of a stag and um, I've got a few sheets of it. I've got some larger ones and some smaller ones. You get one large stag on the top and then you get four smaller ones at the bottom. So I am going to do a few projects with the um, the rice paper with that design because I really do like it. So, And I'm actually down the craft room with the girls at the moment so um, what we're doing is we're between coats we're actually um, drying it with a little dryer just to speed up the process. So I'll just finish doing this, dry this with a little dryer and then um, we'll pop on the rice paper. Right so that's all dry, I'm just going to put that to one side and this is part of the rice paper. You can get rice paper from um, eBay if you wanted to have a look on there. Um, okay so all I'm going to do is go around the edge with some water and I'm going to very carefully rip it because I like the, the jagged kind of edge. So I'm just going to go round, rip some bits off like this and I'm going to keep it as square as I can and um, sort of go round all of the all of the edges of the picture. All right so if you can just see the edges they're a little bit jagged but still quite sort of neat. Now if you've used chalk paint paint on your canvas you will have to seal it because it won't be um, you know it'll be you could be able to mark it and scratch it and things like that if you've used kind of acrylic paint not necessarily you won't necessarily have to to seal it so I'm going to put this matte finish from the fairy chic emporium over the top um, but what I'm going to do is pour a little bit in the lid I always just pour it in the lid to start with and I'm going to bring in this just to show you and that is going to go bang in the middle there and to do it I'm going to do it in exactly the same way I'm going to get the matte finish paste it on and then put the um, rice paper over the top and because the rice paper is thicker than napkins it does give you a little bit more play time it's a bit more pliable and you don't have to put the cling film over the top on it so it does make it a lot easier to work with and once I've put this on I will put this matte finish around the edges as well because obviously we painted the edges and it will dry clear. It is quite dark down the craft room so you'll probably get some shadows that you don't normally get tonight. But we're just trying to get some of these videos done because I've got quite a few that I want to do and then all you do is go over it with your matte finish kind of starting and pushing out like that and that will just stick to the surface like you say as a rule it's good to go from the middle outwards and this will act as a sealer and also a top coat and the colours are really blending well together so incidentally if you do want some of the uh, the fairy chic products I will put the link 
in the description down below. I do have some of the matte finish available to buy from myself. I haven't got any of the paint but at the moment but I do have some of the matte finish or there are quite a few and um, Paul has got quite a few suppliers now so you can buy from um, buy from some of them but it is a brand that I would definitely recommend. Now even though that's not dry I'm really loving that. I think that looks really nice. Look at the corners. I don't really think you need to do a lot more with those. On these side bits here, I'm just going to cover them in the uh, the sealer and that is about it. Once that's dry, it's literally going to be ready to hang. I don't think you need anything at all. And you could do like a set of these if you wanted to. If you want to do maybe two or three. Um, but I think on its own, I think one looks looks really nice anyway. So, okay, there we go. We're all completely finished. Now, if you're selling these or giving these as gifts, they look really nice with um, some cello wrap over the top. Now, I haven't got any plain cello wrap. I just have this one, which I bought from Poundland last year, and it's got snowflakes on. But it's just to give you an idea. You can wrap that. Um, I would suggest plain though so you can see what's underneath. Wrap that around. You could easily charge an extra pound just by wrapping something up. Maybe if you've got a sticker with your logo on, you can put that in the corner and maybe the price or something as well and then you won't damage the item underneath. So definitely worth bearing in mind wrapping up the items that you've made. Um, but make sure that people can see through them as well. And that's about it. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. It's really simple. It costs just a few pence to make. Um, a pound for the canvas and then you've just got the a few pence for the paint and then um, the rice paper over the top. You could also use napkins if you've got lots of napkins that would work equally as well. And that's it so thank you so much for watching I hope you're all okay and I'll see you again soon. 